What's up everybody, it's Frank here for Yokomi and I'm back with a game review. A few weeks ago, I got sent the game Amnesia the Bunker. I'm a big fan of horror games as well as horror movies, but I also really like puzzle games and mystery games where you have to solve a few things. And Amnesia sort of delivers for me on a lot of those things. Now, Amnesia is a franchise that was created by Frictional Games. There's actually four games in the series. You have Amnesia, The Dark Descent, Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, Amnesia Rebirth, and the most recent one, Amnesia, The Bunker. Frictional Games is actually known for making several other horror games. They have another franchise called Penumbra, which contains Penumbra Overture, Penumbra Black Plague, Penumbra Requiem, and they have another game called Soma, and horror just kind of seems to be their forte. I personally think they're really good at creating these scary environments, and I've actually played uh, the older Amnesia games before I got this one. Now, Amnesia the Bunker is a first-person survival horror game, and you awake in a bunker. There's a whole opening sequence that you actually interact with before you end up waking up in this bunker. Now, when you wake up, you have amnesia you don't know who you are and you have to find out clues to why you're there and what's going on the only clues that you really have is that you know that there's some evil lurking around the bunker as you start to play the game and move around in the environment you'll run into certain characters and certain things and prompts that kind of give you some clues on maybe what exactly is going on and you have to figure it out. The one thing about the environment, it's actually very nicely detailed, like great graphics, but it's very dark. You may have to adjust your lighting and your brightness on the game to be able to see. I actually streamed this game on my Twitch channel for my viewers. Now, this will not have any spoilers and I also made sure not to spoil the game for my viewers, just in case you decide to play this game and you want to find out for yourself why you have amnesia. Now, the whole point of the game is to basically immerse you in a state of terror. You don't really have any weapons to defend yourself. Well, kind of. So a lot of the times your only options are to run and hide from this terror that's lurking around in this bunker with you. Now, there's several mechanics in the game. It focuses on uh, stealth, um, exploration, uh, a lot of puzzle solving. So basically every move you make is a life or death decision. One of the things that I really liked about Amnesia was the narrative. It's got great storytelling. Now, as you progress through the game, you start to uncover fragments about your character and you also start to discover some really dark secrets about this bunker. I found the narrative and the story to be actually quite engaging. Uh, it was kind of tough to figure out what exactly what was going on. Is this real? Is it not real? Um, it, it's quite unnerving, uh, which I guess horror games should be. Now, the one thing I will tell you about the game that it doesn't have multiple endings. It doesn't have multiple paths. It's, it's pretty much straightforward. But I do think that the way that you play the game and you make your decisions on how you move throughout the game, it actually is worth a replay. And on top of that, now I played it on Xbox, but from what I understand, if you're playing it on PC, um, there's actually a modding community. Now, apparently this community has created custom stories and mods, which extends the game's replayability and basically adds a whole new horror to this entire encounter. Now, playing this game, I found the game to be very scary. I found myself very like pretty much chilled to the bone almost the entire time on the edge of my seat wondering what's going to happen um I, I was afraid to make certain decisions because i didn't know what was going to happen and like i said no spoilers i don't want to give away anything um i really suggest that you play it the game is not even very long you could get through this game i think in a few hours depending um it, obviously if you play the original game and while i was making this video i found out that there were some updates that frictional game made to this game i believe it's uh they're on update 1.5 so coming from me and how much i enjoyed playing this game i would highly suggest it if you like horror games if you like very thrilling and uh, puzzle solving and survival type games, I think this game is for you. As I said, it doesn't take very long to get through the game. Um, that's not a bad thing. Um, I don't know if you really want to be scared longer than three or four hours uh, because I think the game is quite chilling. So like I said, I go live on Twitch every week. 
uh, twitch.tv slash yogomi, and check out Amnesia the Bunker if you get a chance. I'll be back very soon with a new video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.